welcome to you here on Joy News on Multi TV. This is Let's Talk Entertainment, the weekend edition. My name is Becky. Stick and stay. I'll be right back. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Effia. You are watching Let's Talk Entertainment. Don't change it. We'll be right back. Gingam. Yo, 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 yo. You don't know. Ah, boy, speaking. You don't know. Let's talk. Do more. Me, I roll up the thing in a me can a long time. Right now, me say go higher. Them they sus upon me, yeah. Them go sus upon you too. Hey, them they talk about me, yeah, my brother. Hey, be your body they want to chew. Aye, 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 aye. I go the pray, mega. You don't know Stone Boy representing. You're watching Let's Talk Entertainment. Ah, boy. Bim, bim, bim. Bless the flight you. Lieutenant Kennel Corpo, Sergeant Commander Honorable Sheikh Al Haji Kenata, Monanka Ubrik, all of the Let's Talk Entertainment. Move. You are still logged on Joy News on Multi TV, and this is the weekend edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. I have with me today on the show Yvonne Nelson to talk entertainment with. Hello. Hi. Oh, should we do like that? Yeah. Or something? What? Shake. <laughs> I don't know. That's, you that's tell what people me. do when I'm so when old school. <laughs> I'm so old school. Hi. Hi. Looking beautiful. Thank you. You too. Oh, thank you. I like your shirt. It's really nice. The color. Oh, thank you. It's yellow. I love yellow. I love it. I love it. I love so, it. what's up with you? Your 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 hair, and we just want to know what what's up with you. Uh, so same old, same old. Shooting here and there. I just finished a movie for Kafri Danku, which I'm very excited about. Okay. I am still promoting my movie. If tomorrow never comes, um, is um, is going to come back to to cinemas in Accra um, in December. Um, premiering it um, next month at Kufaridia on the 18th. Um, it's still showing in cinemas across Nigeria. So how is it doing? It's doing. Are you kidding me? See, if tomorrow never comes, it's, it's the, the best. It's the best movie in Ghana this year, like oh. so far. You see, whether you like it or not, <laughs> it's it's the best movie. It's okay. good. It's some good stuff. So okay. shout outs to Becca, Karima, Kukweli, Bismarck, uh -huh. and everyone in there. Yeah. yeah. So um, you know how we do it on this show. Um, the weekend edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. We bring you all the stories that we did over the week, the leading ones. Okay. And well, because you don't know, I will tell you. Do you know about Stone Boy? Yes. Stone Boy. He won BET. I was at the BET. Yeah. <gasps> he did so well. Oh my God. I know. Tell me about it because no, we, just... we he, he never we never really spoke to him about it and. You know, he came back and mm. then his mom passed, Aww. so he couldn't yeah, so talk rest about in peace. it. How was it? So I was in LA and uh, my friend gave me a VIP ticket, so I ended up attending. Um, I didn't see him perform or anything, but I heard that he won. He won. We're all in the same place, yeah. but I didn't see him. So shout outs to Stone Boy. You know, I love projecting Africa and Ghana, and he's definitely putting Ghana on the map, and that's, that's, very, that's a cool thing to do. Yes. So shout outs to you. You're doing an amazing job. Talking about Stone Boy, he had a concert when he came back. He had a concert uh, in a shine man, the go higher concert. We okay. went there. We bring you except of that.
we are hot, we not sweat and no bother. Anyway, we day I can put it in the fall of the mahala. Bandy root by Zalula. Lord, we thank you for goodness. We thank you for mercies and forgiveness beyond what we deserve. Lord, we thank you for goodness. We thank you for mercies and forgiveness beyond what we deserve. As you are saying, no, no, who need to fight to be blessed? Father, as we stand before you, strengthen our heart and light our path like a beam. Beam. Oh, as I know, so my Baba, sing him off for one man. Him. I look at him. Accept our condolence. Do you want to hug it out? Yeah, man. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, man. Okay, so tell us about your tour. I spoke to your manager earlier. He he told me that you had this one in mind, but um, the uh, unfortunate thing happened. Tell me about it. Um, basically, the Go Higher tour was scheduled to be the next thing to kick off after I won the Best International Artist of the Year Africa at the BETs because. Um, I've been around the country. I've been around the country. I don't know which part of the country I haven't been yet, but I know there are some other other minor cities that need to be attended to. So I took it up for myself, me and my, my, my team, Bernita Music Group, with um, Slick Multimedia Group and Rough Money Records, you know, to go on a nationwide tour after the BETs because we've achieved a lot. And I know that all parts of Ghana would want to experience us. I know it's a lot of work. You know, thinking about it from the organization to promotion to 
to strategizing the dates and a lot, but that is what is expected of artists to go the extra mile for the fans, so to establish themselves properly. So at this verge, this is what I bring to you, the Go Higher tour. Go Higher coming from my latest single, Go Higher, which became a hit in, in less than three weeks, you know what I mean? So you don't know, it's a Go Higher tour. It brings to mind a lot of things. It's not just about the song. My music inspires people. So I make sure that I keep inspiring people because at the end of the day, it's a mission for me. I'm here to serve them. You know what I mean? So the Go Higher tour is live in Living Color. It just kicked off from my, 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 my hometown, if so to say, from a shy man, you know what I mean? So it was mad, you were here, you saw it. I know they're gonna see it as well. Hit song after hit song after hit song after hit songs, no miming, we keep it live like that. You see what I mean, I said? So, Bim Nation, this is the artist speaking. Stormwell speaking, and you're watching. You don't know me, I said, ah boy, Bim, blessings. Watch out. Catch me on the next location. Which will be? Which will be Tamale, which could be Takradi, which could be Kumasi, and which could be Accra. So the dates are going to be announced. It's not mentioned in order of, 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 of preference, whatever it is. I'm just mentioning it. But it's happening. So it could be Kumasi, could be Tamale, could, you, um, could be um, 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 Takradi, could be Ho. We're coming at you. Go ahead, talk your first performance after BT, right? And major, yeah, yeah. yeah, major, yeah. Sure. How, how do you feel about it? Did, did, did you put in any efforts? I'm, I'm happy that after the BTs and after the Mamas, after the BTs I performed at the Mamas, but this is my first official performance in Ghana. I'm so elated because it's my home. It, you know, it, it was planned actually so that my people can have a feel of me first before anything else happens. You know what I mean? So we couldn't do without it even though my mom passed away unfortunately you know what I mean I'm, I'm going through hard times but definitely the only way to get over hard times is to smile it over and try so you don't know that is also coming up next month we're laying here to rest next month so you know what I mean this is family issue I don't want to make it so loud so I'm keeping it on the low thanks for the condolences and all the messages that have come in from um, the media you know or everybody saying love showing love and saying words of encouragement to me. I'm going to be strong. I'm stronger than ever, I believe. So, you know my name, right? Livingstone. So, I'm strong. So, we are still on Stone Boy. You saw that. Yeah. And that was his first performance after the BET and his mom's passing. President Mahama actually has been commenting on Stone Boy. He says that he loves Stone Boy's Buffy. You heard that, right? Um, no, I didn't hear that. But can you imagine the whole president mentioning names? Actually, he mentioned John Dumelo as well. He oh, yeah. He said he's, he's the yeah. good actor. Uh, what do you make of that? Um, because John Dumelo supports him as well, so I mean, publicly, so it's, it's cool. Um, I believe he's got his favorites, and it's everyone has his favorites, you know, his or her favorites, so. Um, if, if you're in the um, entertainment industry and you're putting Ghana on the map, yes, the president should love you because you're doing something for Ghana. So we're all putting Ghana on the map. So I believe the president should love all of us, you know, because we're all trying for Ghana. For me, I want to see Ghana there. Okay. And that's, that's a cool thing. Sakodia is putting Ghana there. So the president has to love him as well. So, you know, he should mention more names. Okay. Yeah. So that's to that's encourage us, Mr. Our President. Yeah. Well, mention more names from him. More names like Sarah Kodier, Yeah. You know, Jackie Apia, myself, John Dumelo, Majid Michel. These are people putting Ghana on the map, and we need that kind of encouragement from from our leaders. Yeah. Doreen Andor of Joy FM. You 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 don't know Doreen? Of course I know Doreen. I love Doreen I love the way she speaks. Doreen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. She's so eloquent. Oh my god. <laughs> she's twenty years in the radio business. I thought you said she's twenty years. I was gonna go like mm. No. How old am I? She's twenty years okay. on radio and some of her friends uh, put together a surprise birthday okay. party for her. Um Let's let's take that one as well. Yeah, I don't want to see that.
nice. You That's did nice. achieve your aim, so it's good. When I look around, I realize that all the people who I would actually call to a particular party that if I would have organized are here. And these are my true friends. And so I am touched by the fact that my friends look out for me and they actually didn't hesitate to say, I want to be a part of it. It makes me feel good that there are people that I can still count on. Well, I mean, a lot of people out there look out to you. They, they've always learned from you. I mean, we all grew up listening to you and now we even want to be like you. I mean, what, what is your message to the youth out there? The sky is the limit. You can be whatever you want to be. You just have to believe in yourself. Believe in your abilities. Don't let anything stop you because God gave each and every one of us a special talent. It is up to you to look for what you have and to build on what you have and make better and touch people with what you have because you can't, you can't only just be, be um, satisfy yourself but no matter what you do, make sure that you reach out to and help people with what you've been blessed with. And so that's what I entreat people to do. We came in as a breath of fresh air. We were struggling for news readers, be able to read the news. Came in, delivered a script impeccably. Everybody in the studio waited for the mic to go off and we just clapped. It was solid. From day one, I hosted some programs with her back and forth. I think we did um, Friday Night Flavor together. She's just been touched. She's been top notch from day one. 20 years of it. You can't, you can't knock that. What I have to say about Doreen is the fact that she's timeless like the moon, sun, and rain. Whatever we do, we have to just be with them. They, they, they are refreshing to, to experience, and that's what Doreen represents on radio. She's um, timeless on radio. Her knowledge of, of, of um, music is um, listen, unprecedented. There, there are very few people who. Uh, breast of music like Dorian and Dor, and it's 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 amazing for me to be part of this very special occasion. Fantastic! I think that Dorian has remained as relevant as she was from day one. She's grown not just older, but she's grown more relevant, and I'm sure she's the yardstick for everybody's measurement. And I'm very happy to be proud of her celebration, to be part of her celebration. I'm proud of her. I'm happy to be part of her celebration, and I just wish her many more years. How many years have you been in the industry? You want to know? I so much want to know. Since circumcision. <laughs>was the surprise they gave Doreen. Yeah. I hope, I mean, somebody gives you a surprise like that. I mean, when you're 20 my years in the movie industry. <laughs> okay, well, my birthday is coming this November, so. Oh, so, well, yeah. we're looking forward to Am I invited? Oh, you are. I don't know if I'm going to have a party. I don't like parties. I've never had a party in my life, but it would be nice to have a party for the first time. Huh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You make, do something. Make that arrangement Okay, please. Oh. Yeah. Surprise me, you know, buy me a ticket. Take me somewhere nice. Bahamas. Am I supposed to be doing You see, that? we have a Kosombo, don't forget. We can oh, go to, yeah. um, I don't want to mention the name, I'll be advertising oh, yeah. for them. But there's so many resorts and, you know, hotels and nice places in, in Ghana. So, and I'm yeah. supposed to do all of that for you? You can. You can sponsor me. Okay. Mm. I'll, 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 I'll work something Think about out. it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been nice hanging out with you here on... Let's talk entertainment. Um, is there anything you would like to say? Yeah, um, so finally, if you're in Kuforidia and you're watching me, um, don't you worry. I'm bringing If Tomorrow Never Comes to You. Um, we're premiering it on the 18th of August. Sorry, September, next month, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. September, yeah. September. 18 next month, um, September at the Capital View Hotel. So come out and hang with all of us. Me, Becca, Karima, Bismarck, we're all going to be there. So don't miss it. Yeah. Moving on to our last stories, music maestro Kojo Entry is set to release an album this year. Uh, he has been talking to us. So when is the new album? Before, very soon. Would we see it in 2015? Yes, you will. Would yes, it be you will. December? I mean, no, it will December be. It will, like it will, it will, no, it will be before December. I don't like bring, uh, bringing out albums for 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 uh, Christmas, Easter. I mean, no, I don't do that. Okay. But it will definitely be before the end of the year. Are we talking September? October? Something like that. <laughs> no. It won't get to November. Yeah, no. Okay. No. So it means that it's almost done. It is done. Who it is, is done. Who is 
on this album? I mean, who who are some of the people that we would hear? Jay Martins. Oh. Um, and I as usual. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, some other great artists like I'm looking forward to doing a collab with the Fia. Um, Stone Boy. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I haven't even spoken to him yet, but there's a track that I believe he would do great on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Time up. This is where time will allow us for the weekend edition of Let's Talk Entertainment with me, Becky, here on Joy News on Multi TV. Do make time next weekend.